we need to get out of our head if we want to cure premature ejaculation erectile dysfunction or any sexual dysfunction especially for men for the past few days i have been interviewing more than hundreds of men about this problem the one common factor which i found in everyone is that they are going into a deep mental analysis rather than coming back doing something about it there is a big you know stuck feeling here with men and as a man i can understand this very well we are prone to get stuck in our analysis paralysis thinking and all this thinking is making it very very difficult when it comes to overcoming sexual dysfunction and this is you know getting like bigger and bigger with time today i am going to give you six points yes six points which will help you to come back from this mental thinking taking an action about this so the first point is the mind body disconnect most men they are disconnected from their body hence they are disconnected from their emotion their feelings connecting to the body is like a big pain we say until a mosquito bites us we don't figure out that oh i am also having a body so it's better to numb the body to shove the body to ignore the body make it like really hard like stiff rock is you know also known as some of the masculinity trait what happens is it shuts down the feeling and it doesn't make you feel anything you are more of a mental person but we need to understand to come back into sexual healing to overcome any problem with sexuality we need to come back into the body connect to the body because it's about sensations and these are very subtle sensation when it comes to premature ejaculation it's like an over sensitive penis or you know having a numb uh, uh, sexual organ or having some nerves which are deactivated so how do you do that you need to come back to the body you have to listen to the body right so from the mind shifting to the body shifting to the heart shifting to the emotion is a very big step for any man and i know most men they will run away from their emotion from their feeling they will accept anything else but not this so this is the very first step the second point is over analysis leads to anxiety we call it analysis paralysis right so if you are too much into the mind we cannot solve everything with the mind mind does not have the answers to everything sensation feelings they have a different language that is the reason men with a lot of analysis they go into performance anxiety and this performance anxiety can lead to premature ejaculation later to erectile dysfunction or it can get more and more complicated right so the first thing is stop this analysis paralysis and get to know your body come back to your body feel your body the third point is the body is the unconscious mind now this is very uh, interesting to understand when we come you know to know about sexuality in depth sexuality is actually the unconscious right some urges something that we don't have we say we don't have control you know it just comes because it's the unconscious in work right and body is that unconscious so we say body is equals unconscious equals sexuality right so if we need to understand sexuality body is very very important so it's good to be a friend to the body not a foe to the body you know not to torture the body not to numb the body body or not to ignore the body right so being friends with the body will help you to understand what is your body wanting what it feels like and of course if you don't have a friendship there how can you have a friendship down there right so that is a very important step is to build friendship with the body the fourth point is physical movement to release the stuck energy yes when i'm talking to many men they are okay shall i do this i'll have this medicine i'll go for ayurveda i'll do some homeopathy i'll do i'll become you know everything is the mind 
they don't just want to get up move the body it's a very very important step is to stand up do something for your body because as i mentioned earlier body is the unconscious if you want to work with the unconscious you need to move right so these qigong practices that we do you can do any practice any practice to move your you know especially the lower part of the body so that you your pelvic floor is more strong your backbone is more strong right and the energies are moving the blocked energies are releasing we need to find a way to release this blocked energy right but without physical action it is not possible so to get out of this brain of this mind start moving your body and the fifth point is shift your attention to the sensory awareness what does that mean it means this little sensation these little movements that is happening in your body the subtle feelings so from the mind when it is wandering here and there you probably for for example you bring back to your breath okay and then you feel ah oh, i am feeling something heavy here oh i am feeling something down there is a lightness there or there is a pain on my in my foot you know there is a heaviness back there oh i have a bloated feeling here so you see you are scanning the body and you are building a connection with your senses okay which are not your mind you know it's the other uh, five senses and you can also say the sixth sense that you are developing you are building an awareness rather than just keeping on being with the mind so that is a journey back into your sexual empowerment and the sixth point is six point is mental reframing so you are reframing yourself to come from performance to pleasure yes focus on pleasure focus on connection focus on love when you are either in a act with yourself or with your partner rather than you know getting into that performance you know pressure like what will feel good or what can i do to make my partner feel good first it's knowing your own body and seeing that th those subtle sensations where you feel good about yourself what you are your dislike what are your dis you know likes and dislikes so that when you are aware of that then you know you will be already being having an awareness of what the other person likes even without thinking right so your senses has a direct feedback system into your brain so that you will just know what is required so right so come from this performance pressure to pleasure and finally friends we need to know that we need to be consistent this shift from the mind to the body will not happen overnight it has to be like a consistent practice with your breath with your awareness with your visualization you know with your sounds with the subtle movement right it has to be one kind of practice that will rewire your brain so that you become more of a bodied embodied we say embodied right embodied person rather than a mental person and this is the real solution this is the permanent solution one can have for any dysfunction sexual dysfunction as definitely there but any physical problem also this is the path hope that helps i'll see you in the next video